Hello, welcome. See a bunch of you are on already, so I clicked go live. Go, going live, guys. How's it going? Welcome to our last class of the school year. It's sad, but um, great too. Lots, lots of lots of emotions, lots of feelings. But I'm glad that you're here. Welcome. Glad that you're um, see some waves waving back to you. Glad that you're here with me, and I'm glad that you guys have done art with me this whole time. Uh, some of you have come and gone, come back. Some of you have been here the whole time. To everyone, even if you came only one time, ten times, whatever you did, um, I appreciate it. So that's fun. I'm glad that you're here. Today we're going to do our last project, which is kind of crazy. And then, school's out for summer. School's out for forever. Not really forever, just for summer. <laughs> All right, guys. So today, um, we'll wait a couple of minutes because what's my time here? I still have a couple of minutes before. Um, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. We're going to make a sculpture. And you're going to need paper, um, any different kinds of paper, magazine paper, newspaper, um, colored paper. Hi, Sarah. I got a new amp. I've been jamming um, via Zoom with Miss Babius. We gotta get you in there too. We should zoom with you. You'd love this. You could probably teach us some stuff, us old ladies, some stuff. Um, but you need some paper today. Anything you can color the paper with. We're gonna roll paper. We're gonna take different kinds of paper like this. We're gonna roll it. Hold on, let me use my table for a rolling um, rolling tool. And then we will glue them. We're gonna take these kind of pillars or that we make with rolled paper and we are going to build uh, with glue and rolled paper we're going to build a sculpture today so let's see if you can see this without my face in the background hello welcome everyone who's just joining us this is what we're going to be making today guys we're going to be making a sculpture out of rolled paper with glue and I went ahead and I'm going to show you different ways that I added fun paint and color and chalk and marker to my paper you can do it any way you want you can use plain white paper and add paint later um, or you can do it um, maybe you have some scraps of paper you can roll already uh, maybe you have magazine paper and newspaper and you want to have it all different that's totally cool as well um, maybe you have colored construction paper so whatever you have going on I had only white paper um, and then I added marker, chalk, and color, and watercolor to it. Um, and then I rolled my paper. So I'm going to show you how to do all that today. And we're going to make a three-dimensional sculpture. Remember, three-dimensional means it's not flat. You can see it from all different sides. It has height, width, and length. Um, as well as it is not flat. Okay, and sculpture, everyone say sculpture, sculpture, sculpture means that it is a piece of art that is three-dimensional, so three-dimensional, so a not flat piece of art, okay, everything that's 3D is not art, but any sculpture definitely means that it is 3D and it is art, okay, but if it's just something 3D like my, right here, my pump of watercolor, liquid watercolor this is a three-dimensional bottle but it's not art okay but a sculpture that's 3d is art all right so we're going to be making a three-dimensional sculpture a piece of art today all right and um let's get started so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to slowly fl flip the camera i'm glad you guys are all here and um if you have just glue sticks liquid glue or a glue gun any of those are going to work glue gun of course is going to work quickest um, but liquid glue and glue stick both do work. You just have to be a little more patient, but you can roll your pieces and let other ones dry as you're rolling other ones. So you can do it. To, so don't not join us today. If you don't have a glue gun, I'm going to work a little quicker and I'm also going to slowly flip my camera. Everyone who's here. Welcome. Hello, um, Bella. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Jack. Hello, Sophia. I'm going to go down, tell your brother Michael, Miss A says hello. Was this his, was he graduating from high school this year? Tell him congratulations if he was, otherwise he's a junior. I can't, I can't remember. He's somewhere. 
He's somewhere in those older high school cool years. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we can see from that. I'm going to get a sip of water really quick. Because, you know, I like to chit-chat and talk a lot. All right. So, guys, here we go. Thanks for joining again. We are going to be building a three-dimensional sculpture today, okay? So, three-dimensional or 3D means it is not flat. It is not a sheet of paper with only two sides. It means that it is some type of form that has height, width, and length, okay? And sculpture, everyone say it, sculpture is a type of art, and a sculpture is an, a piece of art or a style of art that is three-dimensional. So everything that's three-dimensional is not a piece, is not a sculpture, but a sculpture is always a three-dimensional piece of art, okay? And that's what we're going to build today. We're going to build a mini, mini cool sculpture, okay? Here we go. So what you're going to do uh, first is we're going to decorate some paper. So I'm going to stand up so you can see better. I use, this was one that I did, um, depending on what kind of paper you have. If you want to decorate some, I'm going to show you that first, just because I had fun with some of the techniques that we used um, during this whole e-learning experience. And so here's some of the fun things that we did with just white paper. Now, if you don't want to do um, the coloring like this, you can color your paper however you want. If you want to write words and text and fonts and everything on there, you can do that as well. Whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to show you some of the fun things I did to some of my paper. Okay. So one thing right here, I'm going to put this on the side. I'm going to throw a piece of paper down. Uh, one thing was I did, remember when we made the liquid watercolors? And we put them in the pumps. We did that for the graffiti project. And we've used it for quite a few other projects if you had some. I'm going to move this out of my way because my overspray is going to get everywhere. And I'm just going to gently kind of pump that bottle and add some blue. I'm going to add some of my magenta. Oh, my goodness. I can't even right now. And you know what's funny? All right, you can see me. Thank goodness. Well, that's wild, and I even bought new try. I bought a new um, what do you call it mechanism um, adapter for my phone and for an iPad for my tripod. And I thought, well, I only have one more day, one more lesson. I should just stick with what I have. Turns out I shouldn't have. So my apologies to all those of you who just hit my art room floor with with my phone. Okay, there we go. Holy cow. I mean, Miss Art Class with Miss A's bloopers is really, really uh, happening, guys. I can't wait to do that. That's as soon as I get out for school, I'm going to do that. There's some hot pink, and what I did is I just sprayed. So this one just really added some kind of spray effect, um, something simple with watercolor. Okay? That's one. I'm going to let that dry over to the side. Another one you can do is something and do a resist. So maybe I want to take an oil pastel something like this and all I'm doing is getting my paper into fun kind of patterns colors and textures so that when I make my sculpture that I'm not just using plain white paper if you want to roll hi Emily if you want to roll just with regular paper uh, you can and then you could take you know your pump and you could spray this later if you want it that could be fun too I'm gonna to do it just for fun right now Whoosh. Okay, look at that, and even added some on my base. Okay, so you can do that too later if you want to just roll white, but I'm going to show you still some more techniques. All right, so maybe, oh, I have some paint on this, but that's okay. I'm going to take another color with my oil pastels, and I'm just doing like a loop-de-loop -loop kind of line all the way through, all over my paper, just having fun. No right or wrong um, way of doing that. Then maybe you want to take a paintbrush and do a wash over it. Maybe I want to take um, some of my tempera cakes or watercolors, and I'm going to take a little of my color, my pigment, get some water in there. Um, maybe I want to take this and do a wash and just paint straight over where the resist is showing. Okay, let's add a little more there so you can see that. And the oil pastel is going to push that paint or pigment right off so that the cool colors I used underneath, the oil pastels that I used underneath, are going to resist that water and pop through. Uh, maybe another way is take some of a paint and take your brush and do a little tappa tappa 
do some fun kind of watercolor flicks. If you're doing anything like this, make sure you get permission first. Do not be going cuckoo and getting paint all over the whole house. Thank you very much. All my young, beautiful artists. I know how much you love making a mess, and I do too. I do too. But try not to do that um, all over your kitchen or dining room or wherever your, your bedroom, wherever your east space is. Okay, so you get an idea here. Oops, cleared off my brush. Uh, remember, when you put your brush after you wash it, bristles are always up. Hairs just like us. Hairs are on top on the head. Brush it, bristles up. Okay, so one, you could do a resist. Two, you could do some kind of fun. This is a little wet, so it's a little more difficult to see, but that kind of cool flick uh, pattern. All different things. Anything you want to do. If you want to add color with marker, crayons, maybe you're doing a crayon rubbing and you're rubbing your crayon with the side. You can do anything like that. Maybe you overlap some colors. Maybe you have textures underneath there and get a texture rubbing. Whatever you want to do to your paper first. And then we're going to take that paper and we're going to roll it. So now I'm going to show you what to do. Now if you have only uh, white paper right now or wet paper, take one first of just a plain sheet of paper, whether it's color or white, whatever you want. And on this one, I'm going to write on it. So maybe I want to do... Um, love, health, maybe some hearts, some, you know, whoop -doo, some doop -boop -boop, all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, maybe something just sweet like this. Uh, maybe you take it and you do one of these kind of watercolor sprays or color it with some chalk, whatever you want it to be. And now we're going to cut it, okay? So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a sheet of paper in half. After I cut a sheet of paper in half, I'm going to take a black marker. You can use any color you like. You do not have to use black, okay? And I'm actually going to cut these in half so that I have a nice kind of square. And even though my message that I wrote in the middle is separated, I feel like it's still held within my art or within my composition of my sculpture. So it's kind of cool that it's divided, but there's actually a message within each piece of the sculpture bringing it together. Okay, so I did just take a piece like this, and I took my black marker. As you guys know, I love framing stuff. Go ahead with something underneath the paper. Make sure you don't get that excess marker on something else in your house. And then you're going to take a pencil or a paintbrush or whatever, and you can roll it. Now, the first way I'm going to show you is just with a uh, glue stick. So I'm going to roll it in my pencil just like this, okay? Lay it flat. Open up a glue stick. Kind of twist the bottom so it's where you can access all that stickiness all the glue and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill that in right there I'm gonna roll my pencil shut and then I'm gonna carefully slide it out so even with a glue stick you can easily roll um, each individual piece quickly just like I did there uh, so that later we can attach all these pieces together to make our fun sculpture okay so now I want you to go ahead and start attaching pieces so I'm going to make a couple more. I'm just going to take my pencil again. A uh, pencil works perfectly. Just roll your pencil carefully and slowly. You can use both hands. Leave a little excess uh, paper or a little lip hanging off the end. Take your glue stick again. Uh, and we're going to go. And the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to show you with a liquid glue. Just so that everybody who has all the different types of glues uh, can show you that you can all use it. I'm going to, look, my pencil even just slid right out. I didn't even need to pull it out. Perfect. I have another piece, two of them, that I will later use for my sculpture. So you're almost making these kind of marker pen type um, rolled pieces of paper, okay? If you have thicker paper, which is totally fine, it is going to take a, um, a little more to roll it. Most of my sculpture that I made here was made with a construction paper first. And then I started using um, just printer paper too. Either way works perfectly fine. So um, sometimes it might take a little more to roll it, but just take your time. Slow down and take your time, people. 
All right, so I did the edges again. I'm gonna take my pencil, which I've lost. Here it is, it blended in with all my paint. And I'm gonna slowly and carefully roll, roll, roll. And this time let's do uh, liquid glue. So if you have liquid glue, you wanna uh, twist the cap. Make sure it has a second to breathe. You hear that little? I don't know if you can hear that over my HVAC system down here, but uh, you just need a couple dots, just a dot, not a lot. Remember, when you use a lot of liquid glue, it takes a long time to dry. So on this one, if you can see close up, I added one, two, three, four tiny dots of glue. Just a dot, not a lot. And I'm going to roll it right over the edge. Oops, I even got some on my paper on, underneath. That's okay. And you can even kind of just twist your fingers around it, keep rolling this until it kind of tacks because liquid glue is going to need a little more hold time. So if it needs a little more hold time, that's okay. And then slide it out and ta-da, you have a beautiful stick. Now I do have some glue on my uh, paper underneath. I'm going to just kind of move it over there so it's uh, not sticking to all my other, all my other stuff. Okay. I'm going to close that really quick. Let's do another one. Let's go for it, people. Can make sure you can see good. Yes. Checking the camera. Have you guys started? Hopefully you've started. Some of you are probably using colored paper. I missed steps of what to do. What did you miss, Sophia? Tell me what you missed. I will teach you. I will show it again. Um, so the first thing is, remember, I just showed everyone how to add fun techniques to paper, water, cool, like paint, Flicking, oil pastel release, uh, resist, excuse me. Um, this is just the spray liquid water colors. Um, this right here, same thing, but this one um, I literally just sprayed. This one I did actually a chalk pastel underneath and then flicked paint on top. So anything you want to do, you can color with marker. This one, remember, we wrote um, things that we were grateful for or that were important to us. So I wrote them, cut it up did some black edges and then grab a pencil or a paintbrush or a glue stick whatever something that's long and cylinder that you can roll but something that's similar in width to a pencil and then you're going to roll it take a glue stick glue gun or liquid glue roll that bad boy up and slide it out and you're going to start getting pieces like this that look like almost like a straw or a long tube or a pencil or a pen and right now we've already made four of them, which is fantastic because we're going to be adding these to our sculptures. Now, I have a couple extra ones that I did make earlier. I have some other ones, okay? So I'll throw those over there. And then I'm going to take some of the paper um, that I decorated, just like I showed you in the beginning, to kind of give you an idea of how you might do this. So. If you have a regular kind of 9 by 12, 8 and a half by 11 um, piece of paper, you can just cut it right in half. It does not have to be perfect. If you want to fold it and make sure it's exactly perfect or measure, of course you can. You do not need to. And then take one of those halves and rotate it. And I'm going to cut that in half as well. And I'm going to do that to this one too, just because I already have it ready. And you look at, they're not exactly the same. They don't have to. If you see one overhangs, that's fine. They don't have to be the same, but, you know, just by eye. You don't need to pull out a ruler by any means. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my marker. Any color. I'm using black. You can do any color you like. And this is because when we roll it, I like having that nice edge um, like this on the sides. So I did put marker on the end. Do you have to do that? Of course not. Um, if you want to use a different color, not black, go for it. Whatever you like. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to keep going. I'm glad that you guys are able to um, just follow along with me, which is amazing. Because, well, most of you obviously know me, so you already know I'm all over the place. You guys can usually follow along. But it is more challenging for me to... Uh, to stop and know if someone doesn't get something or needs help because I can't see you. I can't see you. I can't even pretend I have like eyes in the back of my head because I still couldn't see you. I, I know I couldn't fool you with that. Okay, hold on. So let me read some more things. Um, oh, so I froze on her screen. 
but want to close the base and now she's here okay she's doing good okay i'm glad that you're there sophia olivia hello i saw you got your own handle hello um sloan chloe and um my, my whole family you guys are back from the, from your trip i just see your name on there i see sarah on there welcome back Welcome, Abby, Abby, Abby. Oh, my goodness. It's because I used to, uh, a woman who used to work for me, her daughter had the same name, but she went by, uh, no, she went, no, you go by Evie. She went by Abby, so I always messed that up. And then I knew you long enough, and Mia was friends with your sister long enough that I always had it right. And now I haven't seen you, and my brain is fried, so my apologies for being spacey, for being the spacey art teacher. Anyway, miss you. I'm glad that you're here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do another roll just like this. Some are longer, some are shorter. You can do all different lengths. If you want to roll a long one and cut it in half, you can do that too. So I'm just going to keep rolling. Make sure when you roll, if you did black or color on the edges, make sure if you only did it on two sides like I did, see one side, two sides, not top and bottom here. Make sure that when you roll it, you start the roll on the side that has no color or all of that uh, marking that you did on the edge is not going to matter. It's not going to show up. So we're going to keep going. Let's do another one with some liquid glue just for fun so people can see that again. I'm going to open my glue. I'm going to let it breathe for a second. Whoops. It's not even breathing. Hold on. He's got to breathe. Oh, there you go. Oh, he popped a little. Look at that. That's exactly how viruses get past people. Did you see how fast that glue squirted onto that paintbrush? Not cool. Not cool. Just a dot. Not a lot. So once again, only four dots. I didn't go crazy with the glue. Don't go cuckoo on me with that glue. Okay, and I'm going to just roll it right off the edge. And I'm going to keep twisting it in my hands. Um, some of you who have made, my older students who have made beads with me before. Oh my goodness. Again? holy cow this is just this is just embarrassing guys i love you guys so much but my goodness thank god you all know me okay and also why did i not use my fancy new um adapter that i actually bought even though it was my last class and i didn't even use it and i've popped out twice bloopers with miss a okay if this happens again, and I'm sure it's going to, I don't want to even touch something. Like, I'm afraid. But, like, I feel like it's going to again. Holy cow. <laughs> this is out of control. Hold on. I'm just, we're just starting all over. No, I'm just kidding. We're not really starting all over, but I'm going to, hello, everybody. Okay, this is crazy, though. My goodness. This is the last time I use you adapter, phone adapter on my tripod. This is crazy. All right. There we go. And you know what's funny is a lot of times when this happens, I'm actually touching something, but I didn't even touch any. Oh, that time I did touch something. When <laughs> my foot did that time. But no, and normally I'm touching stuff and I wasn't even touching anything. My goodness. My goodness. Okay, let's do one more. This one I'm going to do with a glue gun just to show people if you're using a glue gun. Some of you have access to that which is great it's obviously quicker a way less hold time and if you have a parent or an older sibling or you are one an older sibling and you're well versed in the uh, glue gun you can do that i'm going to go ahead and roll this carefully make sure you're careful not to burn your fingers as you all know um, it's one of the hazards paper cuts and uh burnt glue gun fingers are one of the hazards of an art teacher's job Anyway, there's another tube. Okay, another one. So these are the different parts of my structure uh, that I'm going to use to create my sculpture. Now, I'm going to need to create this sculpture. I need a flat piece. You can use a piece of paper, but I use a thin piece of packaging, um, like a cereal box or from your soda pop water or something like that, or your um, snack bars, granola bars, all that kind of stuff, okay? So if you have something like that, you can use that. It's just because it's a little sturdier. Uh, if you want to use a piece of paper, it totally works just as well. Now, if you are using, um, like I used liquid glue when I was rolling, if you're having a hard time while we're putting these together, um, not individually, you can see that I didn't need a paper clip for this, 
But when we start gluing these together, if you're using liquid glue, you might want to have paper clips so that when you glue it, do you see how I did that? I would put a little dab, a tiny dot of glue, just a dot, not a lot. Put a little dot of glue in there, let the paper clip hold, and while you're adding other pieces on, that can dry, and later you would remove the paper clip and it will stick together, okay? So I have like a little bit, oh my goodness. I have never had so many problems. It's so funny, it's the last class. I guess we should have ended on Wednesday. So I had to like sign back in. This is like, I am afraid. <laughs> like, holy Toledo. Okay, I mean, this is like, I don't even want to touch anything. Like, I don't even know what to do. Okay, here we go, here we go. Don't touch anything, I'm gonna say. This is fun. Oh. Kidding. Mia, you're gonna have to get my thing. Holy cow. Go get that other piece. We might need it. This is crazy. Seriously, she's just dealing cards over there. I'm like, no, hop to it, sister. <laughs> Go upstairs to the dining room table and get my new package from Amazon. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this and hope to goodness. I'm gonna cross your fingers. Come on, we got we're a, we're a Christian school. God's on our side. Come on, guys. Help me out. Say a little prayer. Say a little prayer for you. Okay. Now, we're going to start connecting these pieces together, okay? So I'm going to take a small square, and I had one somewhere right here. Let's see what I got going. No, I don't. I had a piece. I'm going to grab a new piece because I don't know what happened to it. That's crazy. In my, in my heyday. Okay, so I have a piece like this of cardboard, just some packaging. Oh, Mia just got my other thing. Don't don't mess it now. Let's 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 not do it until unless we need it. But holy cow, holy Toledo. Okay, so if you see, I'm a little crooked, so you might want to take scissors, trim it so you have a nice shape, rectangle, square, whatever you have. That's going to be my base. Even though I have a bend in this, it's fine. It will work. I'm going to use that as my base. I also am going to take my black marker just because you guys know I love to frame stuff. And I'm going to take a black marker with something underneath. Go all the way around the outside edges. Looking good. Oops, a little slops. So I'm going to fix that up a little. Make it a little neater. Take the side of my marker. Make that a little thicker. You know, that's one of my tricks when your line doesn't work out perfectly. Just, oh, just make it thicker. No one will ever know except for you. And don't tell anybody. And everyone would be amazed at how beautiful it is. Sometimes better than you imagined. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my outside. So I basically just have a square um, that I've outlined in black. That's going to be my base. This is out of packaging. Okay, guys? I can't even read all the comments, but I wish I could read right now. Didn't anyone have any no laughter on me dropping the phone like a hundred times? Come on, guys. Where's my people who think that's funny? That's hilarious. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous and hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to use a glue gun just to speed up the process. Uh, remember, if you don't have an adult or a, uh, a parent, an adult, or older sibling helping you with a glue gun, make sure that you're using either liquid glue or glue stick. And in ca either case, they both work. I have tested them both, and I just demonstrated that with you. Now, when we're adding the pieces together to make our base, or to add on to our base, excuse me, for our sculpture, remember it's not flat. So we want to kind of set them up. And I think of it almost like forming the letter A is a perfect way um, to start. Just like if you're making a fire, to all my Girl Scouts out there, Boy Scouts, when you start making that A frame, or my Survivor friends, those of you who want to be on Survivor like Miss A, make the letter A. And we're going to use that. We're going to glue those pieces together like you might do with kindling. And I'm going to actually do that flat first. So I'm going to go ahead, before trying to make these two stand up, I'm going to take two pieces and I'm going to slowly attach them into this A thing. Now, if you're using liquid glue, this is where you would take a paper clip, clip it, oops, excuse me, and clip it. You can do that. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Oh, 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 this is exactly why you asked someone to help you. And you can clip it like this while it's wet. Put that over to the side and let that dry. 
okay? If you're using a glue gun, you obviously, it's going to tack pretty quickly. You don't need as much hold time. And that's what I'm going to do, especially for um, today, because we need um, as much time as possible to create our sculpture. So what I've done right now is I actually added, whoops, uh, glue on the bottom, and I'm going to actually sit and hold this. It takes a few minutes. Now, if you're using liquid glue or glue stick, you do have to hold it, but you could take something else like this, like a glue bottle, and just lean it on there until it dries, and then keep adding other pieces. Once you have two pieces in that A-frame like that, where you have something like this, once those are actually dried and had enough tack, hold time to glue to your base, you can start building around it without worrying about other pieces falling off. Sometimes you might need to use that paperclip trick that I just showed you, but for the most part, you can just keep gluing, gluing, gluing to get that cool 3D sculpture feel. Okay, so now I'm going to take another piece. I'm going to move my glue bottle out of the way for a second just so I can see. Uh, and I'm going to add another piece down here. Add some glue. I'm going to add a little glue here. And I'm going to put my stuff down. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to hold it for a second. You might even want to sing ABC123 or School's Out for Summer. School's Out Forever. It's really not forever. It's not forever, but... Uh, it is out for summer. It's happening, people. It's happening. It's exciting. No more classrooms, because we've been Zooming. What's the next verse, guys? Who has the next verse? I'm sure some creative mom or dad out there has it for me. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. And as you see, I've just kind of made almost this tripod um, stance or... Um, sculpture that I'm building and as I build I'm allowing each piece to kind of rest on another piece now I want to make sure when I'm going first of all if I'm using a glue stick or excuse me a glue gun make sure that you get rid of all those little cobwebby can you see that even there there you see it kind of those little cobwebby things get rid of those get rid of those little guys and um, make sure that you rotate your sculpture as you add pieces so that you can see it from all different angles. And that way, you are making sure that you are creating a sculpture in the right manner where the viewer sees your art, your artwork or your sculpture from all different views. They can like go around it, up and down. This could even be hung from the ceiling. Hold on. Look how cool that is. Just saying. All right, so I glued another piece. I'm going to take another one of my guys. Now, let's say you wanted to have a smaller piece and you made one like this. Can you cut it in half? Yes, you certainly can. What if you don't have that black edge on those? We'll just kind of fold it down. And I'll show you close up in a second what I'm doing. So I cut it in half, and then I did take the black marker and went around the edges. Do you see that? Okay, and I'm going to do that to this piece too. Okay, perfect. Snap that catch. And I'm going to add some smaller pieces on my sculpture. Maybe I just want one little guy that hangs off right here. Okay, add some glue. And remember, if you are liquid gluing, or glue stick actually is going to tack quicker, but liquid glue, you really do need to be patient sit there, count to like 25 or something, and if it's really moving, put something else underneath it to kind of hold it in place until it dries. And you can take your time because most of you don't have as many um, different kind of pieces rolled like I do already. Um, and if you don't, while something's drying, let this piece dry and then roll some other paper. Or maybe you're adding uh, patterns and textures or all those fun things on top. All right, I'm going to go here. I'm liking this. Let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can. I'm going to add that. I'm going to, you know, have a little tack time. Hold on to it for a few minutes. I'm going to read some comments. I'm not going to get anywhere near my tripod. Literally, my feet are planted. Like, I'm not even moving because I feel like if I do, dink, dink, everything's going to move on me. And that's not cool for me. 
All right, I'm gonna put a little here. I'm gonna go like this. That, beautiful. Now on this one, I haven't rolled this one yet, but I was thinking maybe I wanna write inside of it something that's important to me, like I wanna write my family. So I'm gonna write family. Okay, so maybe it's kinda of cool to have some of your own um, things that are important to you or things you're grateful for. Um, written inside of your roles that could be cool almost like a little dream or wish slash uh, gratitude type sculpture um, piece of art I'm going to do the four dots of liquid glue I didn't even use a pencil this time I just hand rolled it which is totally fine too you can do that as well whatever you like I'm just going to wrap my fingers around and around and around. If you use chalk or marker when you get wet glue on it, you might get some of the pigment on your fingers. That's okay. It washes off. And we wash our hands about a million times nowadays, so don't you fret. By the time it's bath time tomorrow, it will definitely be gone. Just teasing. <laughs> just teasing. Should be gone before that. All right, so I'm going to add a little more glue here and here. I'm going to add this on. I'm going to hold that in place, and I'll lift it up just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of holding it. You know, maybe sing a little song to yourself, count. Um, my feed is stuck, so I'm not reading all the comments right now. I wish I could see it. Can I scroll it up without ruining anything? Oh, yeah, I, I did scroll up. Feels like Mary Red Paintbrush. Okay, Mike, well, I can see a few more comments. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. My, my, uh... I don't want to touch that tripod again. I've never dropped the, the camera so many times in my life. And can you imagine, on our last, the last day, you know what? It makes sense. I brought my car to the mechanic yesterday and my moonroof wasn't working and some other stuff. And of course, I went there and guess what worked? Everything. Nothing was wrong. Uh, hilarious. Good times, people. All right, so I'm going to keep going, adding some more glue. I'm going to hold it in place. Remember, like I said, if you're one of those people who are going to need a paper clip and just clip it on to something while it's holding, you can. Maybe put a little bottle of glue or a pair of scissors, lean it up there just so it doesn't move while it's drying, while you roll another one. Anything to kind of keep it in place so that you have enough stick or tack time, okay? Now, I'm looking, first of all, pretty good. I better have Mia do a time check. Mia, what's our time check, sister? Mimi. Hello, Mimi. Time check. I had to throw a crayon at her, you guys. <laughs> what time, baby? 104. 104. Okay, 104. I literally threw, I did really throw a naked crayon at her. I'm not kidding. Sometimes she's paying attention and sometimes who knows what's happening over there. I even added one at the bottom, almost to kind of feel like it's building up. Do you see how it's, you see this? And I keep rotating my sculpture because, as we know, sculpture, hi, Joey. A sculpture, remember, is something, a piece of art that is three-dimensional. It's not flat. It has length, height, and width. So we want to make sure from all different views that you can see all these different fun paper rolls. And remember... Um, some of you still have some of these cool things that we had uh, in the beginning drawing. So if you just had white paper, maybe you did something like I did with the liquid watercolor spray. Maybe you took um, some watercolor and did a resist. Or maybe you did some paint flicking or a combo. So anything that you did, marker, color, maybe you left it all white and you're going to spray it later. That's totally fine too. Or hand paint it however you want with watercolors or you could even hand color it. Whatever you're thinking. All right, so I'm going to do a couple more. Let's keep going. This sculpture is gorgeous. There's no right or wrong way when you're at doing a sculpture. But balance. Everyone say balance. Balance is important because balance, of course, is um, do equal parts or equal sides weigh the same. So is it way heavier over here than here? No. Just right now, you can see I have actually a very cool balance. But I think I might add something on this side to add a little more balance. Now, on this one, I'm going to add something with one of my words. Because I have a lot of color on this side, but I don't have as much white. So I'm going to add one of those there. Look at that. Looking good. And I'm going to add one that kind of comes up over here. Let's do it. Let's do it, people. 
Now, of course, like I said so many times, with the glue gun, I obviously have a quicker tag time. So if yours isn't coming together as quickly and you're using liquid glue or glue stick, please stick with it. Just stick with it. This will all dry. You can always go back and add some later, too. It's looking good. It actually is looking really cute. Look at, I love this thing. All right, and I have one more I'm going to add on to this bad boy. I also have a fun uh, project for the summer. If anyone is up for it, I have something to show you that is a cool idea as well. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. Not a challenge. I have given you a bunch of challenges this year, but it's not a challenge, guys. It is a um, just something fun you can do to make your own sketchbook. So right now we have just completed... A beautiful sculpture it's three-dimensional it is not flat I can't wait to see yours make sure that you're sending them hashtagging them at art class with Ms. dot a or you can fast direct or email me whatever you want however you want to do um, direct message make sure that you send them to me okay now um, quickly this was the original one that I did as well and I do want to show you, if you were someone who left it all white, now mine's not all white, but let's say you did, or maybe you did black marker on the edges, but you just had white paper, but you went along with us and glued as we went. Let, oh, oh my goodness, I went into the white paint. I'm about to show you. Look at this. That's for later. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even want to jinx myself, but guess what? The camera's probably going to fall next. Just kidding. Holy cow, that's so funny. What in the world? Like, all my bloopers are left for the last day? The last day, guys? Come on, now. All right. That's hilarious. Look at this. What a mess I made. I have paint everywhere. Hold on. Not the end of the world. You know, Miss A loves the mess. So, it's, it's going to be fine, guys. But I am going to take this, that here, put this here, here, here. And I'm going to flip this bad boy so I have a clean piece of paper. Okay. Ta-da! By the magic of television and Instagram TV. All right, so there's your sculpture. Let's say you did not um, paint it yet. You can, of course, add any kind of marker or color at this point now. Let's say you just want to add marker. Maybe you just want to add stripes on some or some kind of pattern. You can do something like that now, of course, while it's glued together. Maybe I add some lines around. Uh, maybe you take the liquid watercolor and kind of spray around the edges, something like this now. You can easily do that. Make sure you give it time to dry. Uh, before you put it anywhere else, okay, on display. But any of this kind of stuff, you can add color later if you didn't do it before. So hopefully you made your sculpture with us. Now on to why I had white paint all over uh, my stuff. But I am going to put this down so I have a nice clean surface. So if any of you have any old books, um, which I'm sure a lot of you do, you, you outgrow them or you've read them before, Sometimes you donate them. Right now it's hard to donate anything. So if you have an extra book, we just cleaned out Mia's room and there's tons of them. Um, something to do is to go ahead and especially a hardcover one, you can make a sketchbook. So find the nice size that you want, whether it's small or larger, whatever the book is. And you're going to take just some white paint or you can take gesso. Gesso is G-E-S-S-O. -S so gesso is what I would use to prime. It's like a white paint. But it's what I would use to prime a canvas. Um, usually we don't use that until about high school um, and college for sure. But let me find the right kind of sponge brush for myself. Here we go. I found a brush. Oh, my brush is right there. Um, so if you want to do something like this, what you're going to do is you can paint. Start with the cover and maybe the first two pages. And what you'll do is you'll take a little sponge brush like this paint over it okay you can do two coats if you want just one page time don't do a lot because if you do more than a couple pages of course they would stick together while they're drying so I'm going to do that one and I'm also going to do the cover right now and the reason why is I am going to let this dry I've covered up my book on those pages and as I'm ready um, each time I finish it, um, a set of pages in my sketchbook or my journal I can go ahead and cover some more. So what I did is I just cover it once. I'm going to let that dry so that I can decorate it with my own artwork. I'm going to let this page dry so that I can decorate it with my own artwork. And then once that dries and I do something here, I can go to the next pages, let those dry, and keep going on and on. And you can take an old book that maybe you didn't donate or you had, nice hardcover especially, 
and recreate that into a fun journal. I'm going to use my marker right now. Here's my, uh, you know how you can do something like this so that you can let that dry. See how I just kind of balanced all of that? Is that? I don't want to move my camera, but I think you can see what I did. So that that page can dry and this page can dry. And I'm going to even add a little more on here. Hold on. My marker is going to fall. I'm going to do it gently. Nice sponge brush. If you use a sponge brush, make sure that you let that dry. Look at this marker. This marker got sprayed with the pink, baby. That's fine with me. So I'm going to use that, kind of balance it again. And I would let that sit and dry. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera with hopefully it not popping out. I'm so nervous to do it because somebody hasn't been very lucky with the phone camera today. Bum, bum. Okay, so guys, um... Today, first, at the very end here, I just showed you how to make a journal um, slash sketchbook or both. I like to actually journal and draw at the same time and kind of combine them. And hi, Caroline. Hi, Lauren. Um, and today, what we're going to do, or I'm sorry, not what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to let that dry. Hold on, my marker was moving. My very fancy stand was not staying. There we go. Okay. And then, oh, hold on. Someone wrote me something else. Thank you so much. Oh, Sophia, that's so nice. After the season. Okay, so um, all of Sloan, Evie, and um, Chloe family, Sarah, I'll see you soon. I'm glad you had a safe trip. I'm glad you're back. And um, guys, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to review quickly. So remember, you can make your own journal by taking an old book and just take some white paint um, acrylic or a gesso and you're going to prime it just with a little sponge brush just like this just take this and paint over a couple pages in the cover do this two pages at a time so you can let it dry and then you can let that dry and then you can create art in there and keep going and make a beautiful kind of journal or memoir um, this right here is one of the sculptures that we made today uh, remember a sculpture is a three-dimensional piece of art and everything that's 3D is not a sculpture, but every sculpture is a 3D piece of art. We also had this one that we just finished right now. Another amazing sculpture. If you turn it from all different views, you can see all the way around it. It has length, height, and width. And it could be hung in different ways to upside down. From this way, you can see it all around. Um, and so hopefully that you've started creating your sculpture today. If you didn't, um, maybe you just started doing all the pattern paper. Remember, I used some of just the fun techniques that we've used during all of this remote e-learning time. And so we had the liquid watercolors that I've shown you how to make with the input in an old pump. We did some resist. We did some just kind of paint flicking. All these kind of fun techniques. You can also decorate your journal uh, with one of these fun kind of, um, you know, make your cover one of these kind of cool patterns and textures and um uh, then inside, start journaling, writing things you're grateful for. Um, draw some, you know, beautiful pictures. Go outside, draw your dog. Um, show it all to me when we get back to school next year. And um, guys, just so you know, as as you all know, first of all, this has definitely been one of my highlights. I don't even want to start crying, but I almost want to cry. Uh, it's been one of my highlights of the whole time we've been at home. And so all of you who have come even once, twice, every time, love you so much, miss you so much. Um, eighth graders, I will see you on Tuesday because I'll be in the back of the school delivering your your artwork. Everyone else is going to get your artwork back from your teachers. It's already been delivered to your rooms. A couple of you, like seventh grade, sixth grade, and third grade, all had something we were in the middle of, like a 3D kind of ceramic project that I'm holding till next year. So hopefully um, we go back and we can finish them and all that stuff. So I have them. Everything else you're going to get back. I miss you. I love you. Make sure that you create. Um, art heals. Art is good. So make sure you're creating art. Um, and I will see you when we get back after um, summer break. Love you. Have a good time. Be safe. Love. Miss you. Hopefully my phone doesn't drop again. <laughs> love you guys.